Welcome to the final activity of the Instructional Design Mastery course. The intention of this video is not to tell you what you already know about student-centered learning, smart goals and objectives, or how to use Bloom verbs to make objectives measurable, or talk about instructional strategies, or how to align activities and assessments to objectives, because you all took the same course. So that will be like repeating the content all over again. Instead, I think that an application of the concepts would be a better indicator of course mastery. As an instructional designer, it is difficult to explain to faculty why instructional design is important. Why creating goals and objectives is something that should be done before selecting the course content. Or how alignments can really help them know if the activities they're using are targeting the correct outcomes. Also, how alignment can show insights on if the assessment they're using is effective. And also, it is difficult to explain that the end goal of instructional design is to create a better learning experience for the students. And we have to do all of that in a very objective tone that does not sound as a critique, but rather as a proposal. To solve all of this, I try to come up with a tool that can serve as a guide which collects information illustrates concepts at the same time and also functions as a course development map. I see this template as the application of all the concepts that we uh, learn in this course and I was, uh, my intention is to use this template as, um, as a collection tool but also as a kind of uh, illustration that I can use when I have meetings with faculty and, and I want to explain why we need a course overview and uh, that for that overview help us uh, to come up with broad course goals that at some point those course uh, goals are going to lead us into objectives that we're going to use to tackle uh, the goals and how these objectives are going to uh, be aligned to those goals and how we use materials for each of the weeks of the course or models of the course and how uh, how we need to make sure that the materials that we use are effectively targeting um, some of these course goals and that some of the readings can be targeting other uh, I mean course objectives, I mean weak objectives, and these objectives are pointing out uh, as a solution uh, to achieve uh, those course goals. And the same thing for the assessments, uh, that this assessment is going to elicit uh, evidence that shows that the students have effectively completed this course objective. So this next page um, starts with the collection of, uh, of data about the course. In this case, uh, we have the course overview on top, which is the broad statement, uh, the first eye view of the course, and from there, uh, I ask faculty or uh, meet with them and start creating overarching course-wide goals right and uh, the first thing that I asked them to do is after they complete these goals is to let me know what is the first topic they're gonna teach and this is gonna be secondary I just want them to complete this so they can jump into week one of the course or model one of the course depending on which structure do you want to use so this goes more a little bit into depth, explaining or collecting uh, information for mm, the first model or the, or I need to change this to uh, model. Uh, so for this is so they can, they, they know that they need to have a weak overview as well that will help them come up with objectives for this specific model or this specific week. And it's important to show them that all of these objectives that they're coming up with 
target a specific goal, right? So uh, this is very important for obtaining course alignment and uh, also that they, when they produce some videos or they uh, assign some readings or activities that they know that for each of each thing they assign to the student uh, they should be thinking on which objectives they're gonna be targeting so this is basically what I'm working with and uh, it's still in work in progress and uh, as faculty as instructional designers do you think this could be effective uh, in using this with uh, meetings between instructional designers and faculty as a standalone tool also for faculty to use uh, to collect information about their courses please let me know and thanks for watching